What's up guys? Today uh doing a little different video on um different than motorized bikes today, but uh mo I haven't posted in a while, but uh it's been winter time and uh been very uh busy. So soon I will get back to the motorized bikes. I've ordered a few parts for the carb, so we should be running better this time. And uh yeah, so that's for the bike. But uh, we have a little different thing. I'm going to move a little towards a little bigger engines now. But uh, I have a little uh, ATV, Kawasaki, uh, KFX, KFX80, I believe. Yes, KFX80. And um, I will be cleaning the carb out. It's been sitting for a very long time. So it uh, has no spark. The carb was uh, overflowing. So that leads me to signs that uh, the floats are not working. Take these uh, four bolts off right here. All right, that came out, that's good. All right, I'm just gonna throw everything into this little, little bucket over here so I don't lose anything. Okay. and be very gentle. Seal might be junk. Looks like it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it off. Yeah, it's junk. Okay, so that's what's in the carb. This is clear. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but yeah, you see a little hole. Camera sucks. But yeah, there's a little hole there. So, but um, it's gonna be a little tricky to get all this. So I believe the, oh no, it's good, it works. So we're gonna take all this off and throw in like a parts cleaner or something. And yeah, so we'll take all this off. I'll go through this so if anyone's watching and is trying to figure it out so there's a spring that's connected to this is your idle screw the more you twist it in the higher the idle goes the less you screw it out the less the idle is it's lower um this gasket's trash i'll scrape that out later but um I'm trying to get this pin out all right so i did manage to get it out this is a little bent, so that's probably why it was a little hard to take out. But um, this is how it'll come out. Oh, it just fell, but the, you got your float and then the little needle. And as fuel rises, this is like a valve. So when there's a bunch of fuel in there, it goes up and closes it. I'm going to take this off. There we go. Is that it? Oh, whoa. Okay. Um, watch out when you pull that. It sits like this. There's a spring in there, and it, you can just pull this out. Oh, there goes the spring. I believe that's all that's in there. And then I guess you can pull this up and down on. Not a hundred percent sure. I mean, I could try to pull it. I don't want to just one of the things I don't want to break it. Oh, and there we go. Actually, yep, we got it out. Nice. All right, so we got our um, cleaner. We have some uh, ultrasonic cleaner. So we're gonna put it for the max you can do. And we're just gonna let it heat up for a little bit. But uh, while we're waiting, you can do the t check the floats. And as you can see, they come right back up. So that means these are good. So we could put that to the side. And then we're just gonna literally just throw everything in there and just wait for it to heat up. So I'm about to turn it on. I just turned it off, but just to so say. Uses high frequencies too. So you see how it's bubbling up. It's coming up. 
See over here all that gunk over there? It's all coming out. And with the shadow, just taking it away. But see how it's coming out of that, where that fuel injection goes? So it's, it's pretty cool how it cleans it out. But uh, yeah, that's just a little thing to show you. Alright, so it's been some time. Um, it might be a little bit too much time. Uh, not too sure what happened over here, but uh, kind of made everything black. But I'm sure if I hit it with something, it'll clean up. But uh, we're going to try to put this back together. A new old stock. But um, if you don't have yours. But yeah, so this is, we're just going to put this back together now. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. And um, did come, if you have yours original and never touched it, it will come with this. This goes on top here, if you didn't know. So um, I believe it only goes on one way. But um, yeah, so basically this is like the same way you took it off. Just put it back on. All right, so one way you guys can check the carb is if you blow into this and you push this up. And you hear no air, so I'll show you. Then, um, should, uh, be good. If you don't hear it, let me see if I can do it again. Just like that. Alright, so, um, I actually didn't do this off camera, but... That little grommet goes on top of that jet and you just all i did was tighten that up you know made sure the bowl is working so now i'm just gonna put the rest in this is gonna go in and uh yeah she's ready to go back onto the atv so if uh, you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.